Helping young women to stop smoking during pregnancy is an important public health intervention. 70% of women have a baby, so supporting smoking cessation during pregnancy will help most women to stop. As pregnant women are young, if they remain quit, they will return to having the health and life expectancy of non-smokers. Smoking during pregnancy is associated with 5,000 miscarriages each year in the UK and causes 160 stillbirths, 100 infant deaths. The direct increase in cost to the NHS for pregnancy and infant care is 20 to 90 million pounds per year. The Cochrane Systematic Review of Smoking Cessation Interventions During Pregnancy shows that interventions overall are not very effective. Four small US trials have shown that financial incentives may be more effective and NICE have recommended further research. Hence, our research question was, does the offer of up to £400 added to specialist stop smoking services help pregnant smokers to quit? Greater Glasgow and Clyde covers Glasgow and West Central Scotland. It's the largest health board in the UK and provides health care for more than 1.2 million people. It is highly deprived and a third of the most deprived areas in Scotland are in Greater Glasgow and Clyde. Around 30% of the population smoke and nearly a third of all deaths are attributable to smoking. This was a phase two therapeutic exploratory trial in one centre. Intervention was routine care plus the offer of shopping vouchers at four time points at face-to-face -face appointment with a smoking cessation advisor to set a quit date, for biochemically verified cessation at four weeks post-quit date, and again at 12 weeks post-quit date, and finally in late pregnancy. During the 15-month enrolment period, 3,052 women self-reported as current smokers at maternity booking. 612, 20% enrolled, and 306 were allocated to usual care and 306 to usual care plus incentives. The primary outcome was self-report quit in late pregnancy corroborated by cotinine estimation on saliva or urine. 23% quit in the incentives group and 9% in the usual care group. This result was highly significant and the number who were needed to be offered incentives for each extra quitter was seven. The addition of financial incentives to routine pregnancy stop smoking services more than doubled the quit rate. This large phase two trial shows for the first time that financial incentives as an adjunct to routine smoking cessation support helps pregnant smokers to quit. I would like to acknowledge the funders of the Chief Scientist Office, Scottish Government, NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde Endowments, Glasgow Centre for Population Health and York Hill Children's Charity. Thank you.